Welcome back everyone. Thank you again for tuning in and today I have a rather older figure. Not, I wouldn't say too old, um, but you know, pretty old for me and my collection as I haven't had the chance to, you know, really do a full um, figure review for any sideshow collectible figures. But here we have the 1-6 scale Darth Malgus from Star Wars The Old Republic. I won this last year in, I can't remember which contest it was, but you know, huge thank you to Sideshow, um, Susan, Mistress, everyone over there. They do a phenomenal job. Everyone from the artisans to sculptors to painters to, you know, the marketers and social media people, um, which are, you know, Mistress, um, or Chicky, Mistress Chicky and uh, Susan. But huge thank you for this. I know it's been quite some time since I actually received this and doing the review, but Without further ado, let's jump right in and get this figure a closer look. So, as I said, he this is the Darth Malgus figure from the Old Republic, as I'm sure many of you are aware, um, and I'm sure many of you have already seen reviews and everything, so I won't go too crazy on detail or too crazy in depth, um, just a quick highlight and overview and what I think about the figure. As you can see, he does come with the cloak or the cape and the hood, which can, you know, easily be taken off and the cape just wrapped around, you know, it's a pretty big cape, you know, it's l quite larger than any of the Batman capes I've seen. Let me get a wider shot of this to, you know, try to get this in perspective. Um, here we go. So as you can still tell, you know, it goes quite far out from the viewpoint of the camera. And it's, you know, a pretty nice fabric, almost cloth, um, but the, I guess, not velvet or silk, I guess a silky cloth. Not quite sure of my fabric materials, but you know, it's a very nice material. Doesn't seem like it'll fade too easily or too quickly. Um, and then going back into the hood real quick, it has a little bendy wire in the uh, edge or the border, so you can kind of shape it which way. It is a little bit large, as you can tell. That's the only kind of awkward part about it, so you have to kind of play around with it, um, whichever way you want to have him, and you can kind of play with the shadows of the lighting and whatnot, so however you want to uh, display that. And then taking a look at his body armor, Sideshow did a phenomenal job capturing everything in the armor from, you know, the shoes, the ankles, the boots, um, the thighs, the groin area, the hands and wrists and arms and chest armor. Everything is just phenomenal on this and it's one of the few Sideshow pieces I actually have. I haven't been able to collect too many Sideshow figures. Um, I do have, you know, some Predators and the uh, Hot Toys ED209, which I'll be doing a review also, but this one has got to be one of by far my favorites. Um, probably because I'm a huge Star Wars fan, there might be a little bias right there, but you know, without any downside, without any hopefully no bias, I just absolutely love this figure. So we'll take a quicker or a closer look at the uh, head scope, get that in the focus right there. Now it does come with two head sculpts, I'll do a really quick overview of the package as well. Um, one of them does not have this uh, scar or battle damage I guess if you want to say. And then this one is actually removable, the uh, face mask. Um, or no, is this the one that comes off? Yes it is. So let me just take that off. It just wraps around but do be careful, it might be a little fragile at the end. So do a quick close up on the mask. Just great paint apps on this. Great detail, great mold too, you know, it fits perfectly on his face. Getting a closer look in there. And then giving a closer look on his face up there. You can see, you know, the, just the dark red eyes, um, or the yellow eyes, I just say, and the red around the eyes. And it's just, I mean, it is just phenomenal. You can see all the wrinkles and the veins popping out. You can see on here, he has kind of like the, uh, I guess the neck piece or the continuing of the mask is part of his lower jaw right there and the other side also it's a little bit less as you can see the burn marks right there this is pretty much the pre-vader the first vader if you want to say as you know malgus has transformed and been affected so much in his battles um it's basically the first vader and instead of a full helmet you know he just has this mask and just putting that back on to show you again you can just get that wrapped around there we go, I think I got that right. And then it kind of does come around to the back, so it does connect. I'll do a back or a rear view in a second. 
and getting a closer look up his upper body. You know, it's not a chrome, it's kind of a darkish gray, but you can see the lighter silvers in here, the battle damage marks. Um, just really cool. It's not symmetric either, so that's really cool how they cut, they were able to capture that design. And this is all one piece that's connected to the cape as well, so it doesn't really hinder too much. And these are also flexible, so you can go up and in and out, I should say, up and down, and a little bit back and forth. And going in with the articulation too, nice rotation. The eyes kind of have the, uh, they're kind of almost looking upwards. So depending how you want to pose him, you know, just keep that in mind. He does go pretty far back and a little bit forward. Now moving on to the arms, you know, both arms are the same. So I'll just go over one real quick. The nice armor right there. This is flexible as well. You have the uh, wrist armor and the wrist gauntlets right there. Just more beautiful paint apps with the battle damage and the uh, darker grays and paint brushes right there. And then with the articulation, you know, nice movement. You know, some of the Batman figures, um, like the uh, Dark Knight figure, I believe it is from Hot Toys, they are kind of hindered because it's essentially one whole bodysuit and they didn't really separate it. But this one, you know, just still has beautiful articulation on it. Um, and the elbows too, you know, twist and forgot which way. Not sure if the elbows or maybe it's just hindering, but don't want to break that, don't want to play around with that too much. And then the gloves on the hands, no finger articulation, but you know, they are kind of rubbery. And whoop, there he goes, popped off, but nothing to fear. Just pop that guy back in. So yeah, no finger articulation, but it is kind of rubbery, so do be careful if you bend that a little too much. Now, let me get him off this stand so it's a little bit easier to uh, work with. And then again, going on to the right arm where I had the uh, lightsaber, just beautiful. I mean, beautiful red color on that. Um, perfect shape of the lightsaber. I love these uh, wings or the blades that come on. Let me get that back into view. Just phenomenal. Let me actually get that out of his hand to give you a better look at that. Oop, come on. And I don't believe, yeah, I think he does come with another um, handle or lightsaber hilt. So you can display him with just the hilt itself. If you can get that, a good view. There we go. And it is pretty long, so let me get the tape measure out here real quick. So the blade itself is about six, almost seven inches, six and a half inches, and then the whole lightsaber is roughly nine inches. So, you know, that's a pretty good sized blade right there. And then going into the uh, rest of the articulation, the waist is kind of movement, not too much. Um, not really an ab crunch or anything, it's just more the uh, at the thighs they move, so nothing more on the upper body. The legs, you know, have good rotation there. Twist in and out. The knees slightly. Again, I haven't, I've been displaying this for quite a while, so I haven't really moved them around too much. And then the feet, you know, nice articulation there. And again, getting a closer look at the pain apps on the shins and thighs. These are more, this is actually more of a rubber piece and these are more of the hard plastic. And then getting a look at the back, you can see more of the armor and his hand, other hand just flew off, gotta pop that back in. So just beautifully sculpted around there. And as I said again, you know, just a very large cape on there. And the good thing is these don't, you know, they don't really pop out that easily. I'm just playing with, around with it so much. Um, and then here's the base as well, you know, on the bottom just says Star Wars Old Republic with their license, nothing too difficult to read. And simply placing him back on here. So let me get the uh, total height of this figure because I know sometimes people like the uh, getting the full height. Let's see here. With the base, he is roughly just at 13 inches. So without the base, he's about just under 13 inches. So yeah, the base doesn't really affect it that much, but this figure is about a 13 inch figure. Let me get that blade back in. And then we'll do a quick overview of the uh, box just to show you what it's all about. So here's the box and it does show the Star Wars The Old Republic logo with Malgus standing there um, commanding his forces. Just that stern look and beautiful. The Sideshow logo right here, six scale figure, and this is the uh, Sideshow sticker too. 
getting a side view. It says Darth Malgus up there. Some flames at the bottom. And in the back, another beautiful shot of Malgus with his mask and the glowing eyes and uh, what believes to be Coruscant on the bottom. I'm going to take that guess. And then this side again, the same, just saying Darth Malgus. And then here we have a short uh, bio of Malgus, if you'd like to pause that and get that in focus for a second. And then just a simple window box. I did put it up in upside down, but we see the extra head and the extra lightsaber held is somewhere, oh, right there in the back. It's kind of hard to see, but, you know, not much more to review about that since I already got the main lightsaber. So there we have it folks, thank you for uh, tuning in, hope you do enjoy a uh, somewhat older figure review, but just trying to catch up and make sure my studio doesn't collapse on me. Malgus is getting a little upset so he wants to get out of here, but hope you all enjoyed, um, just trying to get these out quick so I can just add more content, content on my uh, site um, and try to catch up with some older figures that I've been owing some reviews to. But stay tuned for my next video and thank you for watching and thank you for the support. See ya.